Oh yeah, I'm ready. Okay, so this is my website. It's called Royale Raves, um, and essentially it's a Clash Royale website. So the main feature of the site is a forum where users can create posts that they can make their own decks for. Uh, so in order to create a post, users will need to make their own deck with a custom deck builder that features many cards that are already found in Clash Royale. Uh, the post will also include different pieces of information about the deck itself. Uh, for example, an overview, a summary of the strategy, and some personal ratings. Uh, users are also able to browse all the decks, all the posts on the website, and they can search and filter if they want. And all the features come together to provide a platform for avid Clash Royale fans to share and discuss their own decks and strategies. And they can also possibly identify new decks that they might not have known about. There's also a cards page on the website that just browses the entire selection of available cards. And users can also view more info. So the target audience for my app is uh, mainly just anyone who plays Clash Royale because uh, they can either spread the word about their own deck or they can discover new decks. Uh, existing Clash Royale websites are usually more data oriented, so they are lacking in the user freedom aspect of things where users aren't able to create their own decks and you know share their own uh, pieces of information. So this just enables more uh, enjoyment and fun for users to make their own decks. And on the design end of the website, users should be able to engage in full CRUD functionality, being able to create, read, update, and delete from the backend database through the Express website, or server. So this is my website. It just has a landing page first that just says, Welcome to Royale Raves. Um, then the main uh, part about the post is the creation. So here's the form that allows users to create a post. So as you can see, it has lots of different components. There's a uh, post name, there's this deck builder that's fully functional, there's overview, strategy, archetype, rating, difficulty, then some user details as well. So if I, I can just make one right now. Uh, so I, I can enter the name, I can select any amount of cards I'd like from the deck builder. As you can see, they get highlighted and you can't select any more than eight cards at a time. If you try, it won't allow you to. And if you'd like to remove cards from your deck, you can just click on them from the deck builder and then you can easily uh, change. So let's say I want to make this deck. I want to change a few parts of it. I can just easily mix and match uh, however I see fit. Then uh, you have to enter an overview. There's also validation on this entire form. So you know, if you try and leave the overview blank, it won't allow you to. If you try and not enter anything, it'll also not allow you to do that. So let's just say this is a very basic Expo Cycle deck. Minimum 30 characters as displayed. Then you talk about the strategy, so you know, I can just say uh, whatever. I'll just write a quick strategy. And then you select an archetype. Also notice the submit post button is actually disabled by default, so you're not able to submit unless you successfully fill out every single field on the website. Uh, so you can select an archetype. For this, I'll select Siege. You can choose a rating from 10 to 1 to 10. It's default at it's default at 5, so if the user doesn't input anything, it'll take in the default values of 5 and 3, which are the mid-ground. Say I want to give it a pretty good rating, and it's pretty hard to play. Then finally, there's user details. Uh, just disclaimer, this isn't functional yet. There isn't a login system, but I would like to implement it at some point if I can. So if I just say whatever, then you see you can submit it. Then you'll get notified that the deck's been submitted. So then the next part of the app is the view post. So this is the part where you can view all the existing posts. As you can see, uh, every single post is there, including the one we just made. It automatically updates. Um, so this is the read part of the CRUD functionality. You can search. Say I only want to search for Expo, and I click Find. You can see that I can only find the ones with Expo, and the one I just made is included. So search by name. If I take it out, it just finds everything again. I can also filter by archetype. So as you can see, all the pieces of info about the post are displayed, so overview, strategy, archetype, rating difficulty, as well as the date it was posted. Um, so for the date, today is the 10th. So as you can see, it's 10th of April for the post we just made. Say I only want to find Siege, uh, then I can only find these. If I only want to find Beatdown, uh, you can see it automatically gets changed. If I want to find a minimum possible rating, so if I only want to be 7 and above, I can also do that. And OK, that. Okay, it should be updating. 
uh, say I only want it to be max difficulty of three. Okay, as you can see, this one has a difficulty of three. The other ones that are harder to play disappeared. Um, so then if I just refresh to load everything again, um, you can also edit and delete. So for example, let's say I want to edit the post I just made. I can click edit, a pop-up will appear, and you can edit all the info. All the info will be pre-loaded, so the name, the deck is already pre-built for you. Um, the overview and strategy are all saved already. Say I want to change the deck. Obviously you can't select uh, the cards if there's already a deck of eight, so say I just want to change two cards. I can just do that. I can update. Expo cycle updated. Then that has been changed a bit. And if I want to save, I click save. As you can see, it updates automatically. And there's also a date updated. So the formats aren't uh, consistent. Like I need to change that a bit. But yeah, it's still 10th April, just displayed in a different format. And I can also delete. So if you click delete, you'll get this sad face because <laughs> it's. Yeah, are you, like, are you sure deletion is permanent? You should be uh, prompted. And then you can not delete if you want. If you do delete, it'll automatically delete. As you can see, it just disappears. Um, and so the final part of this app is the card section, which shows every single card uh, in a grid. If you click on it, a pop-up with more info about the card shows up, as well as some actual info, like from the official game itself. So you know, I can see the card art if there is. Some cards don't have official artwork, so then I just chose not to display the artwork. So then it just shows the text. So as you can see, there's all these different uh, yeah, pieces of info about the cards. And uh, this is still very much work in progress. Um, there are only 32 cards available right now. But yeah, I would say that this was definitely something that I felt, because I am pretty passionate about Clash Royale, I felt that this was you know, some functionality that was lacking in the current Clash Royale websites. So I actually talked to the Clash Royale community some of them actually submitted posts, like all of these are submitted from users in the Clash Royale community themselves. Uh, so there is some use case for this. Um, so then I can go over my... Oh yeah, sure. So uh, the main part is the deck builder. Obviously it's a huge thing, but if you actually change, if I go iPhone SE, it actually gets packed very neatly into a grid. Uh, the post also gets packed, so, and the sliders, they, this used to be one full row, I believe. Now they get packed into a one archetype selection and the sliders. The user details, they used to be side by side. Now they're up and down. Mm -hmm. um, and then, yeah, the deck builder itself. I mean, some cards are pretty long with names, so they do overlap, I guess. But the deck builder does still work. Um, OK, on iPhone SE, it's not the best. But it should be a bit better, uh, yeah, on like, like this is what my goal was to make it, you know, still display. Uh, eight cards with equal sizing. So this is the ideal display. Then for the actual posts, uh, it just you know minimizes them, and it still fits the screen pretty well. Um, okay. Uh, yeah. Also for mobile responsive, just to edit, it's full screen, so the deck builder doesn't get squashed. Uh, just the final part, the limitations of what I've made so far. I've already went over the features. Number one, there isn't a user authentication login system. Because uh, there's no actual processes like I could use JSON web token or something to implement it in the future So users can maybe only edit the post that they've made I also wanted to add a comment section, which I haven't yet There's full functionality in the Express server, but I just haven't implemented it on the front end yet uh, Then there's the available selection of cards. There are 109 total cards, but since each card is a Document in my database I have to manually make it so there are only 32 right now I could improve that later um, and lastly, there's an official Clash Rail API that's pretty useful. It has lots of fun information. So I thought maybe at some point in the future I could integrate it with the website, maybe showing some charts or stats about uh, cards. Yeah, that's about it for my website. Um, probably minor wall breakers. Yeah, I'll go and find out. So, yeah. so uh, I never played for a long time because I, I it takes up so much time. But okay, I think in terms of the code, uh, the code base, I think it's quite good. Uh, you 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 meet all the uh, just I mentioned to them that the file size should be uh, small. You should break down big components to multiple small components, so you did that well. The project structures uh, also are, are, are quite well done as well. Yeah, so I, I, I don't have much uh, improvement points as of now, but I think 
as of what you have learned until this point in your module. I think whatever you have done is pretty good. Okay. Okay, so uh, let me comment more about uh, the UIUS. Maybe you can bring back the page. Yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so uh, color scheme and uh, thematic wise looks very good. I actually took a look at the Clash Royale screenshot just now. So, uh, yeah. one of the most important things is uh, design must fit the theme. So, I think the design fit the theme that is good. Uh, we have good validation. Okay, so uh, your search filter looks like you can meet the the actual user story because if I'm searching for that, I think your search filters allow me to find what I'm looking for. Okay, uh, the validation for card rules that is there is eight limited and uh, limited to eight hundred and fifty gigs. That's great. So uh, I notice that you have a small, a lot of small, small flare like your mouse when your mouse over certain thing, it pops out. So yeah. take note. Everybody, that one is okay in this context because it's for a game related website. Understand? Okay. Uh, so I have I, I want to say that it's a good card, but doesn't mean that it works for all contexts. Understand? Uh, okay. Because uh, if you're doing a very serious business like website like LinkedIn, then all these iteration they are a bit out of place. But because it is game related, that is a kind of animation transition that you see and make this interesting. So it's good to have in this case. Understand the context is for kids. Uh, okay, context matters and many things. Okay. So uh suggestion. Uh the only thing that I vaguely dislike but also yep. quite challenging to solve is that to build a deck you must scroll up and down. Yeah. Uh, so uh it, it, for for desktop the easier solve is to have two columns. One column to show all the cards and one another column to show all the possible choices and then you use uh you know the, the overflow scroll so that you don't have to scroll out and down the pages. Now for mobile this is a bit tricky. Uh so uh you may want to see how other website does it. The my suggestion for mobile is that you keep your eight cards fixed, then the selection instead of top to bottom is swipe left, right. Okay. Yeah. That is what I can think of like the, because the that's the only thing I and it's also, it's also not an easy problem to solve like, uh, okay the the, the scroll up down and all that. Yeah, uh, yeah. so uh, that is the only thing that I would say that are uh, definitely improvement. Okay. Uh the slider is it your own component or you use some other component for a slider? Uh for these uh, I use the external component R C okay. slider. Okay. That, that still come towards some point sliders. I styled them myself though. Ah uh, okay. Yeah. Better you do it yourself. Okay, great. Okay, great. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Uh, the other thing, if you finish, you will not go, then you won't go 